Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and this is our upcoming project which is the Blue Humpback Whale. Get your supplies now so you can tune in to our live painting which is on Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Uh, but for now, enjoy the preview. Today we are going to be using graphite paper to do our whale today. Um, so you're just going to take that graphite paper, lay it the dark side down, and then start drawing. And whatever lines you make and you draw, it's going to show up on your paper. You can kind of check it as you go. Now you can get this outline of the whale on our website. I drew one up for those who are not yet comfortable doing a, a whale freehand yet. And when I do my outlines, I do the outline of the animal and then I kind of mark where I want the darks and the highlights to be. Now the colors I'm using today are Norway blue and black. And I'm just going to mix those till I get kind of a nice navy and I'm going to start laying down some color. And then I'm going to use my brush, rinse it out, and spread that color around. I don't have to worry too much about that wash being dark from the beginning because we can always go back and darken it as we go. A new technique that we're going to be using today is you're going to take your brush and just use completely clean water and make a surface area completely water and then draw, um, kind of do an outline on against that water. And I'm going to do it again over here on this bigger part so you can see a little bit better. So just fill that space with water. Add in some color on the edges and it's just going to naturally spread. Now I helped it spread a little bit more and then I'm going to drop in some water droplets and you're going to get some really cool textures with your whale when you start dropping in water like that. Now the underside of the whale we want it to be dark because that's going to show form because the whale's body is going away from us underneath and so we want that to show and that's uh, how we do that as we make it a darker value. So I'm going to use kind of a darker wash and I don't have to worry about it being too dark from the beginning because we can always go back and add another darker wash uh, if we need to. And you'll, you'll see that I'm just going to kind of go all the way around. Now for my highlight around the head, I want it to be really light to show that that's kind of where the light is hitting on the whale. So I'm just going to do a super light wash and then I'm even going to take my brush and lift some of that color out. And you can just use that using a clean brush and uh, you lift it, you wipe your paper towel, and then you lift it again. Now for the rest of this fin, I want it to be white, but I want there to be kind of the, the dark bumps on the edges. So I'm just going to spread water around and then go around the outline of it and just use like a dark navy to outline the rest of that fin for that whale. Now you're going to see I'm going to be going back and forth across this whale. And that's because you want to lay something down and then you want it to dry before you mess with it too much. So I'm going to be going, using the fin, going to the tail, going to the head. And that way it allows your washes to dry as you do it, so it's not just kind of a watery mess as you're making it. Now this back fin, I want it to show that it's behind the whale, so I'm going to add a little bit of shadow there at the top. And then that's going to make it clear that that fin is behind the whale's body. Now I'm going to start doing some detail work for the whale, and so I want to use my size 2 brush, which is a little bit smaller, and then that way I can go in and do the really nice detail work around the eyes. We want it to be dark around the eyes because that's going to show us um, that the eye is coming out of the head and it's not just a totally flat surface. And I'm going to add a little bit of shadow here on my, my fins to make it a little bit darker. Now I'm blending a little bit too because I don't want it to just be kind of a dark, dark uh, sections that we have here, right? Because with our outline we did sections but we don't want it to be like a straight line. So after you lay colors down, don't be afraid to take your brush and some water and just kind of blend some things out if it's looking a little bit too outline-y to you. Now for the detail work that I'm doing here, I want to make sure that the washes underneath are completely dry, especially for these lines and these dots, because if it's not dry, it's going to bleed out and it's just going to spread and we're going to lose that nice detail work that we want here. If you lay something down and you notice that it's wet and it's spreading too much, just kind of back off from it, work on another part until it's dry enough where you can come back. Now I'm using this white concentrated uh, paint to do the highlights. So I'm going to do a little bit of highlight right by the eye. I'm going to do a little highlight on the tail. And I'm going to just kind of look, and this is where it's good to have the reference, right? To have the photo reference so you can use what I've already painted to look at it and see, okay, 
Where are their dark parts? Where are their light parts? So I'm just kind of going back. I wanted to darken the underbelly a little bit more. And then after I darkened it, I added some water droplets on the top because that's going to make some really cool textures underneath. I hope you really enjoyed painting this well. I'm so excited to see yours. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Oh, wait, should I say that though? Oh, it is 715. Let's do it again. And, and maybe say like, yeah, this is as, as loose we were with the The line, cool project?